we're on the Huachon stand at Emo 2017 in the UK. Ward High Tech are the suppliers of these machines. Bastian, this is a brand new machine. This C1. Just give our audience uh, an idea of what the concept of the machine is. Absolutely. So the C1 is a totally new development, latest latest development of our R&D of our production in, in Korea. And uh, the C1 is called C stands for a cell. So this is a a really a uh, new game changer in the in the world of metal cutting. We have a horizontal lathe, but not only uh, a turret with uh, standard uh, 12 tools on it. Here we have a, a new developed wider, big, big wide uh, turret with uh, 18 tool station. And additional to this, we have a magazine with uh, 12 tools in it. I was going to say, looking at this turret, it does look a lot bigger. And I suppose the advantage of that is you've got, it, it gives you more rigidity for, for cutting. But also, like you say, you can get more tools on it. From me looking at that now, you've got tools on the outside face, uh, on the top of the turret and the back face as well. So you've got three options for tools. Is that correct? Absolutely. So we have a wide turret, despite the fact that it gives it more stability and rigidity to the production. Uh, we have this wider turret because we can clamp uh, uh, tools uh, for the for the main spindle machining on the front. Then we have a place for tools uh, in, in in the back for the for the machining for uh, the sub spindle finishing the part. And in the middle we have the capto uh, tool interface for the uh, additional 12 tools in the magazine. So that, that, that's a good point. I want to come on to that because it's quite novel. So you've got 12 tools outside of the working area in a magazine that can be put onto this turret. So essentially, how many tools altogether, I'm not a mathematician, but how many tools altogether can you get on this machine, taking into account the changer and the turret? Well, we have the, we have the 18 tools on the, uh, on the turret. Uh, then we have the 12 tools in the magazine, which are interchangeable. Uh, additional, we can uh, here and there use some uh, double holders, but in fact, you have the 18 tools plus the additional 12 on the on the uh, uh, on the um, on the magazine. Uh, a, a new innovation, obviously, and, and it's, I know the answer is easy to this, but for some of our viewers, what's the advantage of having all those tools, or to be able to get that amount of tools on this type of machine? Uh, on, on this on this lathe, which uh, has a six-inch chuck or optional eight-inch chuck available, uh, uh, spindle and op optional sub-spindle, and with this big variety of tools, you can you can machine uh, very complex parts within one clamping. Yeah? So you do not have to change uh, uh, the, the the parts on, on different machines. You can have it uh, manned or unmanned with automation. Very complex parts within one clamping, which gives at least uh, more productivity to the to the customers. If, if you wanted to do that though, why wouldn't you maybe opt for a twin turret machine? Because if you had a twin turret machine, you'd be able to machine on the front spindle while you're machining on the back. Wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't you just go for a twin turret instead of having this sort of option? No, this is, uh, this is a new development, a horizontal lathe, which uh, you have the existing stability of a, of a, of a, a very stable horizontal lathe, uh, additional, uh, um, additional magazine to the, uh, to, the existing, uh, to the existing turret. So that brings you the benefit of faster machining, more productivity and uh, complex part within one clamping. I suppose probably in answer to my question as well, you'd like to think this would be less money than buying a twin turret machine. Would that be right as well? Uh, you have to, uh, this, you cannot say like this, uh, you, have to, you have to look carefully what kind of uh, uh, twin turret machines you, you're buying, but uh, gives you, let's say, it, it's, a, it, it's, a small, uh, it's a small different way of thinking of a small machine, uh, similar to, let's say, a multitasking machines, the bigger one. Uh, in, in, in a way of thinking, it's, 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 it's a small multitasking machine in a, with a different philosophy. Yeah, no, I totally get that. It's a very, very flexible and versatile solution for a manufacturer that might be doing uh, smaller batch runs of maybe really tricky components. That would be a good analysis, wouldn't it? Absolutely. You got it, yeah. So these are available from Ward High Tech in the UK. How, how new is this machine, Bastian? Is it brand new to the, uh, to the market? Uh, this is brand new to the market. We have introduced it uh, in, uh, uh, in, in the beginning of this year to, to Europe. Uh, we had a, a special uh, open house for our dealers uh, in, in May in Europe. Uh, so for this is the second exhibition uh, we presented here uh, in Europe. 
I'm sure it's going to be a good seller. So if you're looking at a multi-tasking machine, this new C-Series from Huachon is available from Ward High Tech in the UK.